Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Thursday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time, but today is also a feast day. Today is the feast of St. James the Apostle. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I am going to drink? They said to him, we can. He replied, My cup you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the, turn, when the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them, and that the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, as I said, today is the feast day for St. James the Apostle. Now, there are uh, two James uh, that are listed. Of course, we have James and John, the sons of Zebedee, and we also have uh, James, the son of Alphaeus. And so they usually call James, the brother of John, James the Greater, and then they call uh, the other James, James the Less. And that helps to, uh, to kind of differentiate between them. But James and John were two of the main disciples to Jesus. Whenever he would go places and, and separate out and only take a couple with him, it was usually Peter, James, and John, sometimes Andrew. But so Peter and John, I mean, excuse me, James and John were already considered a part of the, quote, inner circle, unquote. But here in our scripture, of course, their mother kind of goads them into approaching Jesus about, giving the, uh, about being given higher places of honor. And so they were really looking at wanting to be placed at his right and at his left. Those are the two uh, places that are seen as uh, supreme uh, in any king's court is there is a throne to the right, that's the next in command, and a throne to the left, that is the second uh, uh, after the first in command. So, uh, so you had first the right and then the left. Interestingly, we didn't have the discussion between James and John as to which one was going to be on the right and which is on the left. But what's interesting about this is when he said, uh, you know, my cup you will indeed drink, when they uh, responded positively to the question, can you drink the cup that I'm going to drink? That, of course, was the cup of his passion, death, and uh, ultimately his resurrection. So will you be willing to take the role assigned to you as one of my disciples, as one of my apostles? Will you take that role, and will you drink of whatever it means? And they both said yes. Interestingly, uh, both of them, James and John, uh, drank of that cup, but it was in a very different way for both of them. In fact, interestingly, James became the first of the apostles uh, to be killed, to be martyred. And John was the last. John lived a long life. Of course, uh, we have it in tradition, and it's pretty obvious that James was the older brother and John was a much younger brother. So we have this 
wonderful feast of St. James. And St. James has had this wonderful place in the church uh, where he has been venerated, and especially uh, in Europe, he is seen as a special saint uh, in Spain, Portugal, and other places. Uh, Of course, uh, there they would call him Santiago. And so, uh, or in America, San Diego. But those are, that's St. James. We have, of course, the Camino that was named after his, him that led to uh, the Basilica, the cathedral in uh, Compostello, where uh, they have that gigantic uh, censer that swings back and forth. So anyway, St. James has been seen as a great apostle uh, over uh, time, especially the first one to give up his life. And that takes place in the Acts of the Apostles in about the 12th chapter. And this is when Herod Agrippa, now this is the grandson of Herod the Great, who was not really great, he was really quite evil. And then he had several sons. One of them uh, was uh, Herod the Tetrarch. And uh, Herod Agrippa, who was the next king, basically was kind of a half-nephew to uh, Herod the Tetrarch. But nonetheless, he was an evil king. He was uh, very much in favor of doing whatever it took to uh, quash the church. He, he did not want Christianity to flourish. And so he persecuted and arrested a number of the leaders. Among them was James. And James was then beheaded uh, as the first. And this was about 44 A.D. So probably about 10 years after the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord. But nonetheless, we remember today the fact that James and John were two key apostles. And even though we have this one passage that really speaks to their vulnerability and ambition, that that's not the whole of who they were. And that's not the whole of who James is. He was a courageous apostle who uh, served Jesus uh, not only uh, during their earthly ministry together as an apostolic company, but after the passion, death, and resurrection, he became a strong uh, apostle in terms of uh, giving himself to the work of the ministry until he was the first of the apostles uh, to be martyred. So today we remember this great saint. We remember St. James the Greater. We remember his life, his testimony, his love for the Lord Jesus, and his desire that the gospel would go forth to all nations. And uh, we think about the fact that he is the servant uh, that really brought so many to Christ during his time of service prior to his martyrdom. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, to know more about St. James, I encourage you to uh, look him up uh, on the web or in a saint's book. Of course, he and his brother John were fishermen with their uh, father Zebedee. They grew up in the area of Bethsaida and Capernaum. Uh, When they were called by Jesus, they left everything and just followed him, giving their all to Jesus Christ. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.